that we are live. Hello girls, how are you? Anita here from Sequence and Sand at another lunchtime live. I'm really excited about this live. There's a couple of surprises for you girls. If you are watching the recording, big welcome to you too. Because I know that Friday at 12 o'clock doesn't suit everybody to come on in and say g'day. So I hope you've got your feet up if you're in lockdown. Sydney girls, my heart goes out to you. Like I said last week and I think the week before, I hope this is a nice distraction for you. Um, yeah, we go live every Friday right here on the Sequence and Sand Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. We stream there as well because we want to arm you with all the fabulous products and reviews about those products, all the insights, the insides, the outsides, the features, how to wear them, all those style tips to boost your summer confidence. That's what we're all about here. So um, today I've got a special guest joining me to talk about slips and these are our great range of slips here at Sequence and Sand and we've had these slips now for quite some time in the store and we sell loads of them each and every year. I'm going to introduce you now to the beauty and the brains behind this fabulous label let me welcome her in. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Julia. Welcome to our lunchtime live. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you. Great to it's be with you. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Ladies, Julia um, is the designer and more behind this fabulous label. Um, and I'll be honest, she's a little bit nervous about being here today. <laughs> I'm with you, so I'll be fine. <laughs> Yay, that's what we like to hear. Yeah, it is a matter of just rolling with it. We're just having a chat, right? The girls, yeah, are you and I, the girls are having a chat. It's all good. So I've invited Julia along today because she knows this range inside out, the back of the hand. But it's also nice for you guys to meet the makeup. We're big supporters of... Um, niche labels, smaller labels, and local labels here. And this is a lovely local label based on the Gold Coast here in Australia. So, Julia, welcome. Thank you for designing these beautiful slips. And in a minute, we'll take everyone through these slips. We've got all different lengths and all different sizes. You've yeah. always designed with fuller figures in mind as well, haven't you? And that's what I love about your range. It it goes up to a 5XL and that's pretty extraordinary. Do you want to take the girls through a little bit of history about the label and, and how we met? Yeah, um, we started probably, I'd say, well, 10, 11 years ago and we started actually with microfiber um, and the main reasoning for that was when we first started the brand was to find a garment to wear under resort wear because back at that stage there was a lot of sheer resort wear and no one was offering anything to go underneath other than just you know stock standard nylon slips so that's how the brand started we started with microfiber we had a beautiful microfiber out of new zealand and we did that for a few years and then we had just more and more people ask us about cotton and there's just seemed to be a very sort of strong demand more and more for cotton. So now we've sort of got to a stage where we pretty much just do what well, we do now with our slips, all cotton. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That, that sort of that was how it all started. And then as we went along, we just had more and more people ask us about specific designs. Um, and, yeah, just just odd customers would you know contact me and say have you thought about this and you know have you ever thought about adding this to your range um and so we developed more and more things and the shorts that anita has got on they're probably our most recent thing which we've been working on for a few years and that really came out of a just a customer inquiring and saying have you ever thought about doing some cotton slip shorts but in the in the states they um they actually, well, they talk about them in different terms. So some people were asking for anti-chafe shorts. Um, 
they'll also um I'm trying to think of the word now. I can't think of it. Penny, um, penny shorts? Penny, yeah, penny pants, sorry. Penny, penny pants. pants. That's which it. I've never heard of before. So then I started looking into that and Googling what's a penny pant. And, and a penny pant is really just a longer version of a French knicker. Um, and, yeah, so we just we developed this. We tried to come up with a style that would give a bit of flexibility to shape and size. So anyway, we can talk about that when you get to the shorts. Yeah, but when we get to that. Yeah. I think anyway, that's what... Enough from now. <laughs> that's all good. <laughs> I just want to say hello to some of the girls who are tuning in. Hey, Maz. G'day, Lizzie. Lovely to see you. Um, those girls are brilliant, and I know they're big supporters of what you do as well. But, see, that's what, when you deal with brands who respectfully listen to their clientele and want to give them what they need in my experience in 12 years running my little online world that's pretty rare right and mm. I love working with labels that do that and you do that so well we started together I think you looked it up about eight years ago was the first invoice yeah. <laughs> and we met like here down the highway <laughs> halfway between <laughs> business and the coast but yeah. um, so Julia approached me then, and I'm so glad that you did, Julia, because we've just built on that year after year after year. And I watch your reign grow from those. I think you had two styles with the microfiber yeah. concept, yes. and you yeah. grew that into this range now that has I don't know. I'm just guessing twenty plus styles, you know, um, and each of them has. A particular purpose and that's what I love about it too is they're really thoughtfully designed stuff so thanks Anita thanks for you that are, you do a brilliant job and you need to take a bow right you know you are very modest but what you do is incredible because I know I get the feedback as well I get emails mainly from women going oh I can't believe I finally found cotton slips and cotton yeah. slips in size you know and we sell all over the world too and I know a big yeah. part of your clientele now comes from the US doesn't it because even though yes. that market's so big and you think they have everything they yeah. have any no they really lack cotton garment yeah cotton underlayers mostly nylon so yeah they're yeah. very happy to have found our slips of many of the customers yeah and being a Queenslander living in the humidity you know, cotton and natural fibre is something that wicks away or, you know, can absorb some and make it breathable, I guess is the word I'm looking for, particularly in the humidity, is really important. And that's where cotton is fantastic. And actually, Maz, cotton grower history, hello, bringing the two of you together. Let's realise, Maz, how awesome is that? Mm. Um, yeah, there's nothing like feeling cotton and your cotton's are beautiful and fine and soft. They feel, I can tell you now, they feel really good on them. Mm, yeah, very good. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. How is the range? Yep. Let's get into it. Okay. So, girls, like I just said, this range is massive, right? So, because Julia's, um, the spiritual range goes from an extra small up to a 5XL in a lot of the styles, you can imagine that's a lot of stock. And then within each style, there are usually three colours. Um, there is the crema colour. We started out, remember we talked about crema as a colour all those years ago too because I was worried that if we used the word nude that we would come up in other sites that we Yeah, we create with SEO, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've got to be careful what you say on the internet. Yep. Um, so this is the, the nude colour, which is crema, and then there's a black, and then there is white. Now, for me personally, I find it hard to go past the crema because it's, you know, like more like a flesh tone. But this is the first length. This is a cami, and this is the Celine cami. The Celine cut has got a finer trim on the neckline, and it's a slight V. And then, as with all the slip camis and dresses do you see that girls that is I'll bring it right in close there's the adjustable strap so it's like your bra strap so you can bring these in to whatever suits you see that lovely dart in the side so Julia's created some lovely shape there and a nice high back so that's the cami and it does come 
in the crema, the white and the black, and they retail for just under $30. So that's, um, yeah, that's the Celine Cami, yeah. That's the Celine Cami, yeah, that's the one I've got. Did you want to make any comments about that one, Julia? Is this a, a trusty seller for you, this um, one? Yeah, probably our Celine range is because we do it in, and you're probably going to go on and talk about the different lengths, but we do it above the knee and long. So, and it's it's the same cut all the way through. It's just different lengths. So people, you know, if they like one piece, they may well like, you know, another in a different length. So that's yeah. that's the only um, the only one we do in the three different lengths, and that's the Celine. Celine. And on yes. me, this is a small, so on me, if I was to throw the suit, the matching suit on, um, that's where it that's where it sits on me. Yeah. You know, it does cover just below the hips by yeah. a couple of inches. So yeah. And then because of the darts, you've got a little bit of shape. It, we do have another shape that is a bit broader. So if you do have a fuller bust, you've thought about that as well. But that's the, the cami. Then the next length is one that goes just above the knee. And this is the Celine uh, dress, slip dress. We sell, this is probably, I reckon this is our most popular, though we sold a lot of camis in the last 12 months um, as well. Camis are making a comeback. But the, these are a handy length as well. So tell us about the length of these slips, Julia. Um, so they will, depending on size, as the sizes go up, so, so does the length. So um, depending on your height and your size, the length will vary. But they would all sit from the knee upwards. Um, yeah. Um, they're sort of aimed to be, you know, above the knee. Um, but then we had quite a lot of people, you know, asking us for specific lengths and we ended up doing the next one that Anita will show you. Sorry, I feel like I'm going ahead of you. Um, so that then people could just cut them at whatever length they wanted because a lot of people do quite like a slip just yeah. on the knee or just below the knee. It's always hard to get that exact right length for everybody. So Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a really good point. I never thought of that because there's no – fancy hemming on this you know that it would be easy for the girls just to have that adjusted so that's that's um, a really yeah. you'd need to you'd need to hem it you'd need to stitch it up but it's yeah but there's nothing you're not, going to ruin, you're not going to ruin any particular detail no no no, no. Very simple. no that's a new line girl alteration yeah. yeah it's just um it's just turned under and then again same adjustable strap so this is the Celine knee length and it comes in sizes, what sizes, Julie? Do we know? Do it's an extra small, which we would call, we, we call an extra small a size eight and then we go with that style up to a 5XL. Um, so XL 16, 80, what's that, 22? 22, yeah. And a, and a safe 22, you know, yeah. it's not. It's we, and not we possible. also do that slip, which is worth mentioning, mentioning in navy and charcoal. So we do m pretty much all of our slips are just in those th three um, colours, black, creme, or white. But that particular slip above the knee we do in black and charcoal, which work okay. with, oh, sorry, charcoal and navy, which navy. is a really good colour for a lot of linen clothing. And we've found this sort of last summer that a lot of people have been buying them for linen because linen's become so popular. Yeah, linen is really popular, so absolutely. Charcoal and navy are really good with a lot of them. Okay, linen. I might have to look into that because I don't have them at the moment. But no. if girls want them, we'll get them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Okay, so that's the Celine knee length. Now, this is a different style. Do you see, girls, how the width there on the neckline is a little bit wider and then at, we've got a nice high back so it'll cover the your bra line at the back. Same adjustable straps there with the little clip. Um, and this is the Amy style. So how is this above-the-knee style different, Julia, the Amy? Well, in actual fact, that was our very first cotton slip. Um and it's different in the sense it's got a wider bind around it. It is a little bit more square cut, so it actually mm. um, suits a sort of straighter body type. It's still a line, but it's not. It's more. It's not as a line as the Celine. So it's. It yeah, it just suits someone that's yeah, just a straighter body type. 
I would say. Yeah. Not, nothing to do with sizes because we do, same with those, we do them from size eight right through. So some people just, and a lot of people like that bind, the wider bind. Yeah. I know you always have a need to like that bind. Yeah. yeah, the bind is good. So this one doesn't have the darts in the bust, girls. So this is where it is a fuller straight down from yeah. underneath your arms kind of shape. There is, as Julia said, there is a bit of a... a bit of shape to it but the saline has i would say because of those darts a little bit yeah more, yeah a bit, bit more around the bus yeah. yeah okay did sorry so to interrupt um, oh, can i just interrupt you anita did you have the long saline or not i do have the long saline. oh no that's right i didn't know whether you would yeah that's okay you're going to go into that later that's um, we're, we're working <laughs> our way on that, julia okay. Hold your sleep horses around. No, all right. We might talk about the long <laughs> length. That was all right. Oh, and this one. Oh, Kathy Thomas is saying our prices are great. Yeah, they are very good value. And can I say too on that point, Kathy and girls, in the eight years that I've been selling these slips and we've sold truckloads in that time, I've had one that has come back because there was a bit of fraying in it. So the quality, I can tell you, value for money, I think these slips are the best in the world for cotton. That Honestly, they're thoughtfully designed, the quality is fantastic, and the price point is brilliant for what you get. So congratulations, Julia. Thanks. <clears throat> now, this one I love. We got this one a couple of years ago now for the same reason. Girls who were of a bigger size um, wanted wider straps to cover a bra strap more, but also... Um, you've introduced this. This is an elastic back, girls. If I can just, I don't know if I can show you. I'm just show you the give in that. Look at that. So that's a run of elastic at the back of this one. This is the Bella slip. So Bella is also around about the knee length, isn't it, Julia? Yeah, we we yes, that one. Yeah, we do it in long as well, but that's knee length, same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit more around, um, a little bit more generous in sizing than um, the other slip. So we've put a little bit more through the the hip area. Yeah, just a bit more than the Celine. But that's all in the size charts and you can see that, yeah. Yeah, but again, it's another thoughtful style where, you know, you've thought about the shape of your girls and the size of the girls and what they want. So if you are a, a fuller figure girl and you are, you know, um, you are in the larger sizes area, then Bella um, might give you that a little bit more coverage and you get this bra strap under there nicely. This is a nice wide strap. That's the size of my finger. So I reckon it's just under an inch. Mm. It's probably yeah, it a centimetre and a half. It is just under, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so it's a great, again, lots of detailing on that with the adjustable, the adjustable straps and a nice high back with the elastic features. And a great flattering neckline as well with the nice binding. Nice and loose. Almost a nighty, that one, Julia. Yeah, could be, yeah. Could be. Now, this is the one you've been waiting for. This is the Celine in the maxi length. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all and right. I thought I was just going to do the Celine first. <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> no, I haven't done it by range. I've gone by length. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, right. I'm, I'm with you now. Okay. So now we move away from the knee length and we go a little bit yep. longer, girls. These ones fall, again, as Julia said, depending on your height, but these ones fall around about mid-calf. Um, and this is the maxi length because, yeah, maxi caftans and fine summer dresses um, are what we love. I oh, know I love to wear them in summer. Um and then the maxi, the maxi length has been a really great seller. This comes in the, in well, at Sequins and Sand, whether you've got more where you are, Julia, but um, in the white and the cream and the black. And the yep. Celine maxi, what have we got on that? Uh, 38 bucks thereabouts. That's what that one is worth. So, again, a really good price point. It's got a little slit at the bottom. Hard to see in the black, but there is a slit at the bottom, and this one, Looks to be about, I don't know, 20 odd centimetres, 25 centimetres. Um, and that's a small. So I'm a small because I'm a 10. And that, and I'm one, what am I? One, five foot four and a half. And this is definitely mid calf on me, girls. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how it, how, how, 
falls and fits. It's really, it's a great maxi. I love it. Again, the signature um, adjustable straps and the lovely little V neckline with the high back. Beautiful. But you didn't stop there, did you, Julia? You went, no. Oh, you went can, I, can I just say about that long one? Um, like I said before, it is a good option for those that just want a longer, shorter slip to just cut that shorter. Yes. And we recommend that to quite a few people because, as I said before, it's very hard to get that exact length of slip. And some people do like sp specifically to have a slip like right on a hemline or just above it. You know, they don't want that gap. So that would be the way to solve that problem. Yeah, that's a great idea. So it's a top tip. Get the longer length and chop it to suit what you want. Um, yeah. And if you get the maxi, you have that flexibility. Yeah. And at that price point, you know, it's not going to cost you the earth to do that either. And then you get the right fit. Getting the perfect fit is really important. I know that with togs, right, with everything. So we've seen them with straps. Now we're going to go strapless, girls. I, c I couldn't believe it when you did these. This is genius, right? So this is Zara. Say hello to Zara, girls. Zara comes in two lengths, and I've only got it in the in the crema, I must admit. But a lovely little cute sweetheart neckline with the binding. Here we go. Again, nice wide binding and elastic back. There it is there. Um, so this is a medium, roughly about my size, but it goes up to, what do we do this in, 3XL? Uh, yeah, 3XL. Yeah. So um, you can see where it sits on me, and that one is about two inches above my knee as a medium. So it does sit above the knee, definitely. Um, but this is great, a strapless slip. How did this happen? Um, it it came about because, um, well, again, through customer customers inquiring, but I think um, on the market there was only, you know, really fitting nylon, um, body-hugging, um, Nancy Gantz type, you yeah. know, strapless slips yeah. and just way, way too hot, you know, just. Mm -hmm. And so many women just don't, I mean, they wanted something strapless for off-the-shoulder dresses, but they didn't necessarily want shapewear or anything holding them in. And they wanted something cool. So I just had to try and work out how I could keep it held up <laughs> and not fall down and do it in cotton. Um, and, yeah, and it works well. It's got it's got very nice shaping across the front with the bust start yeah. and the elastic holds it up. Um, mm -hmm. Because you get that extra stretch, some people find they can go down a size with them. So um, you just have to check the hip measurement and make sure there's enough in the hip. Um but other, other than that, you know, because you get that extra movement, and it's the same with all the slips with the elastic at the back, you get a bit of extra room, so you can perhaps go down a size if you just check the measurements, yeah. Yeah, and that's a really good tip, actually. That's another good fit tip. I have quite a few customers, because cotton doesn't have the give in it, like um, the synthetic mm -hmm. fibres, yeah. the type. Um, I have quite a few customers who order the ones without the elastic go up a size because it just gives you a little bit more room to move when you do bend down and whatnot because it doesn't have that give. And as you say, for airflow, for keeping it cool, you know, so yeah. that, is a, that is a great tip. Yeah. So that's the Zara in the knee length and you've also done it in a maxi length. Woo-hoo! So I can imagine, you know, those beautiful balmy summer evenings, you probably, you know, have a um, a wedding to go to or something like that in summer where you want to frock up and wear something longer. And this is the lovely Zara, same details, girls, exactly the same but just in a longer length. Um, yeah. And it's the same length that? as the Celine, the long Celine. Yeah, right. And it's, it does have a dart there as well in the, in the bus, which I didn't yeah. point out before. And this longer length. Like the Celine has got a little split in the side yep. as well. Um, but again, like you said, with the maxi length before, if you're not sure of the length that you need, you could get this one and then just alter the, the length pretty easily. Yep. I love that. So this Zara, the Zara in the longer length, what have we got on that one? It's probably a little bit more, isn't it? 
because of the detailing in it. I had the Zara strapless at 37, around about 37 for the shorter length. So the longer length is probably a little bit more. But, you know, again, nothing ridiculous, right? It's all very affordable and um, and well-priced. Let's talk about these shorts. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> excited. Yeah. Um, okay, so they're our Bardo shorts. Um, they were sort of a, I, I think the idea of them too was a bit of an alternative to a half slip. Um, uh, and I think for a lot of people also just feeling it a bit, um, something a bit cooler to have that fabric between their legs was a cooler option than sometimes a sort of fitting half slip. So they've, they've sort of got multiple uses really. They can be worn as an undergarment. They can be uh, worn, you know, as sort of sleep pyjamas with a little cami lounge wear they're in a slightly heavier cotton they're in a um a cotton cambric which is a just a slightly heavier weight than the voile of the slip so they do have a bit the fabric does have a bit more strength and not quite as opaque um i know people use them for gardening <laughs> so they're so cool. and they've got those slits up the, like in the side so, yeah, so pretty, let's talk about how they're made. That's a great, these are genius, right? So you call this a tulip. That's a tulip. Yeah, tulip. yeah. so that, that's sort of a, in style a bit like the running shorts that will just give you that movement when you move your leg. So it'll, yeah, so it's not restrictive. Um, and also it just gives a little bit of um, variation in, you know, thigh size as well and bottom size. Yeah. It just doesn't make them too... Yeah, it just gives gives a bit more size to them. So, and, and we've got a flat front. Yeah, so the flat front, which is more flattering, of course. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't need to put elastic all the way around, and they're just no, yeah, just at the elastic back. at the back. Um, and yeah, we made the um, that inner leg. What are they? The rise, what they call that, don't they? Um, long yeah. enough to. Um, well, we would hope, you know, if anyone was buying them for coolness and to stop any sort of chafing, that length would be enough for them. Um, and, again, that increases with size, that length, so the shorts will get longer with size as well. So what size have you got on, Anita? Are they I've got the small on. I've got, got the small, small on. on. And I, I love this. This is the right yeah, size. Yeah, they're perfect so on I'm you. 10. Yeah. I'm 10. Um, yeah. So... Perfect on me. Yeah. And I do like, I did want to road test these girls because, you know, I've got, I always believe in what I sell. Um, but I just wanted to double check that when we said they were anti chafing, like to stop that rubbing on the inside of the thighs, which, God, it gets bloody sore in summer, right? Um, that it does. There's a good, you know, at least I would say one, two, three, three to four inches. They're in length and it's really comfortable. Like they're not, my inner thighs are not rubbing at all. Um, no, super comfy. They're beautiful. They're great. So I'll just take it off the hanger and show you. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong one. We'll come back to that. Um, I'll show you what they like up close, girls, because I can't put my butt up in front of the camera. That would be very untidy. But there you go. There's the flat front just with a nice little... Um, hemmed finish at the top and then at the back we've got the elastic which way that way elastic at the back again you hardly know you've got them on and then there's that clever tulip leg right that um, just opens up nicely and there's definitely enough to stop the inner thighs rubbing at the top now these are I grabbed the other size this is an extra large that is easily, that's easily a 16. Mm, yes. Maybe yeah. even an 18. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I've spent a fair bit of time trying to work out that length for the, yeah, that, um, the inner the the leg size. Yeah, I think I yeah. went through about four different prototypes to get that right. <laughs> there you go, girls. A lot goes into the R&D, the research and development of these very thoughtful garments. That's the thing, you know. She doesn't just 
give it one go and then walk away. You know, Julia um, is a perfectionist and you need that when you're designing things. You need that um, persistence. So I'm really excited about having these shorts and I know the girls will love them. As we get into high summer and the heat of summer, we will sell lots of those, I have no doubt. If you're watching, they're on the website and I'll show you where you can find all these beautiful things soon. But that is... Um, it's a great option, so unique. And again, that's what I love about your range, Julia. It's so thoughtful and each of the pieces have got a specific person and purpose in mind. So congratulations on the short. Well, thank, well, you. Well, thank you for working with us and supporting us too. So it's been wonderful. Thanks, Anita. Pleasure. Pleasure. So what do you think of the petty shorts, girls? What do we call them, petty pants? I like slip shorts myself because it's... Yeah, says, I just call, we just call them slip shorts. I've, yeah. It yeah. says lay me under, really, when you call, put a slip in there in the wording, I think. But yeah. um, anyway, let us know in the chat, girls, if you're watching. Do we call them petty pants or slip shorts? Um, and what do you think of the shorts? Um, anti chafing as well. So now, oh, what, we, what price have we got on these, Julia? They're 45 bucks. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're 45 bucks. It's great. So with the shorts, you could put a little cami with them and create a nice little sleepwear combo um, with that. And that's what I love about it. Well, these would be great to sleep in um, in the heat of summer. Just yeah. enough. Really, really comfortable. Add your cami and away you go. And then if you're travelling or you're, you know, you're packing for a weekend away or a week away, you've got multiple uses, right? You use them for sleepwear as well as, you know, layering under for other garments going out during the day and at night. And because they are such fine, lovely cotton, you can just hand wash them, hang them up, and I reckon overnight, you know, particularly if you're in the air con or put them in an aired space, they'd be dry. Absolutely. They'd be ready to go again. So great travel piece too. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, girls, I'm going to just faff with these screens for a second. Do the shorts come in different colours? Oh, that's a good question. That's from Cathy. What what do you say to that, Julia? Have we got them in um, the Yeah, they come in three colours, the um cream, like the slips, the crema, black and white. Okay. So girls, I've got the crema up there at the moment because I always when I'm testing something new, I'll be honest, I just go the the skin tone first, like the nude tone first. But if you want them in black and white, we can do that. We can do anything. So um, let me know, Kathy, if you are interested in other colours and we'll make it happen. Um, okay, so absolutely claps from Maz. Oh, Lizzie, yeah, the shorts are great. Kathy, are they see-through? Could you wear them on their own with a jacket over? Mm. No, a little, bit, a little bit lightweight. Yeah. yeah, I probably wouldn't. And also in the detailing, like, I, I don't know, you know, like, there you go. Um, yeah, great for movement, the old tulip legs, but like the runner shorts. But um, I don't think the fabric is right, Julia. I wouldn't feel comfortable um, doing that. I mean, you might get away with like a, um, a black, the black maybe, like with the longer style. Well, I don't know. I mean, everyone wears different Each things. Each to their own, right? <laughs> yeah, and it is it is a heavier weight than the slip, so it's it, the black wouldn't be see through. It's just light. Um, yeah. So yeah, you might have to try and see Kathy. Um, with what I've got on today and how they feel on me, I personally wouldn't. But as Julia said, in the black and maybe with a t shirt, I don't know that you'd put a jacket with them. They're not a dress short. They're, they're just not no, a dress short. no. Um, but like the Celine, um, the Celine slips are worn a lot, you know, for over swimmers and that sort of thing. And I, people do wear them as outer garments a little bit. So, yeah, maybe. I guess, like we just said everyone's got different ideas with how they wear their clothing. So they do absolutely. They do. They will be fantastic under caftans in summer. Oh, the slips do. Oh, sorry, Kathy. So, do you mean the slips? Could you wear them with a jacket? No, um, not no. They really are. They're undergarments, you know. First and foremost, again, yeah, I, I wouldn't wear a jacket. Um, it depends. No. If you wanted to wear it, the cami under a jacket, and 
you could definitely do that as long as your jacket, you know, if you're looking at it under yeah. a suit, for example, definitely do that. Yes, they're made for layering under. But if you wanted to show it as a top underneath an open jacket, I personally wouldn't do that. But underneath. We do, yeah, we do, we do have a range called Celine Celeste, which we sort of put out as a bit of a sort of loungewear, sleepwear um, slip range. But saying that they're in a cambric like the shorts, so they're a heavier weight and they've got a little bit of embroidery around the top. And I know some girls wear those as like a slip dress. So they're... That, but I don't know if you have those, Anita. Maybe that's something. I might you have know. those. No, I've yeah. kept it really simple so far just with the under yeah. the leg caftans mm. options because this is what I had in mind when we first bought them. You know, you can yeah, see that she just as an undergarment. Mm. Just as an undergarment, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. just to whack under something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, as Maz said, more under that was kind of the inspiration. But, you know, yeah. Um, let me know, Kathy, if there's anything you want, and I can definitely talk to Julia about it. No problem. Okay. Now, any other beautiful comments? The shorts for stopping shaping. Yes, they do, Maz. They do. And I can 100% vouch for that. They cover the right spot. Oops, we just lost Julia. Oh, she's back. Okay. Yeah, so I'm back now. I don't know. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of magic here. And hello. How clever is that? Sharing the screen. And I'll show you where you can buy these fantastic goodies on my website, on the Sequins and Sand website. Two ways. You can go into clothing and then we've got slip dresses. And you know what, Julia? I haven't changed that image in eight years. Oh, no. They're all my I old love. school friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. Great, yeah. great for parties. Great, great. Um, there they all are. So I actually do have everything under slip dresses, even the camis, and there's yep. those shorts. Um, and I'll just show you with the shorts. That's the front. And we've got the size chart in there as well. So you can, you know, whip out the, um, the, the measurements of the garment. So get out another pair of shorts, girls, and measure against those or something similar. But that's the, um, that's the new shorts there. And there's all the different lengths. They're the original ones, which there's not many of those left now, are there, Julia, those microfiber no. ones. We are the cotton kings now. Okay, so that's there. Or you can slip up to brands and go into, because you're an S, you're like me, you're a bit further down the list, spiritual, and everything is there under brands. Okay, so that's how you can find them, girls, um, and all the pricing you know, it's, you can see the cami 29, the shorts 45, 31 for strap, you know, depending on the length, a little bit more for the longer length, but nothing over 45 bucks, really. That's the bottom line. Um, and then we have another little surprise, Julia, don't we? Um, yes, we've got a, a new look on Facebook and Instagram um, pages. So we've we're doing a giveaway at the moment of um, a prize pack of $250 worth of a combination of slips and camis. So, yeah, head on over to our pages and have a look. You'll see more images there of all the different styles and, um, yes. Yeah, I'll you. just I'll bring that up. That was a big surprise, girls, that $250 giveaway because um, Julia's trying to get her you know, more interest in the social stuff, which we all do, you know, Facebook and Instagram, it's valid. It's a great little giveaway, 250 bucks. So I'll just show you if I can bring it up on, um, where is it? Okay. Um, share that one there. Let me see if I can cleverly do this. That one there, remove. And share, we're going to go, oh, for some reason it's not letting me do it. Oh, anyway, if you go into Facebook um, and on Instagram and just search Spirituelle, you'll be able to find it there, girls. It's um, the giveaway. I'm sorry, I don't know why that's not coming up. Anyway, that's there. Oh, anyway, that's a bit of an anticlimax for the big surprise giveaway. Sorry about that. 250 bucks to help Julia... Um, kickstart her social a bit more over at Spirituelle and we love working with our 
with our partners like this. So show them some love over there too. And you might be able to win 250 bucks worth of gear, which is handy, right? Get a couple of these slips, set you up for summer, that price point. So that's great. There is one other surprise, Julia, isn't there? We want to get some feedback, girls, because as we've talked about, Julia and the team at Spirituelle are really big on giving you what you want. You know, everything we've shown you today has come out of the needs of their customers. They really listen and want to give you what you want. This is a half slip, a cute little cotton half slip, and it's got some nice little um, lace detailing at the bottom, cotton lace and an elastic top. So this one, again, sits about mid-thigh. We wanted some feedback. Is this something that we should stock as well here at Sequins and Sand? What's your view, girls, on the half slip? I'm going to run a poll over on the Sequins and Sand Facebook page, and I'll put a link to it at the end of this, um, this live because I can't do it while we're while we're going live, but just to get your view on it, what do you think if we should um, start carrying the half slip? Do you have a, a need for a half slip? If you've got some feedback now, let us know before we wind up. Um, but otherwise, that's us done, Julia. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Think- you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, have you got anything else on the drawing boards? Any other styles that you're going to be working on? Um, yeah. I've got this slip. Actually, I've, it's behind me. And it's this one here. Um, it's actually made out of, they call it an artificial silk. It's viscose. But I'm still um, deciding on the fabric for that. But um, that's just a really lovely, soft, silky silky feeling fabric like a really like it feels just like silk silk Um, and i that's the other thing i I do get people asking me for silk um i haven't sort of ventured into that market but um yeah i'm working with this at the moment so this is my latest thing yeah which is sort of more by thinking um back to that conversation about you know wearing a jacket over a, a slip this would be the sort of um yeah. slip that you could do that yeah mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. something a bit more like a slip dress that gives you a few more options for wearing out perhaps yeah, yeah. So that's my latest thing mm. very good i'm sure there's always something going on in the background yeah when you're a bit there's always something going on in the background <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well thank you very much for joining me today um oh, thanks girl- for having me You are welcome. I'm so thrilled that you're here and thank you for all that you do in supporting we women with your beautiful undergarments, as I like to call them, the unsung heroes of our summer wardrobes. And as the weather starts to heat up, so will the sales of these, I know, as we get into summer and the humidity hits and we want to get out and about a little bit more, then um, slips will be a lot more popular. So... Um, yeah, that's it. Have a great weekend. Thank yeah, you so much for joining us, girls. Hop on to that giveaway over on Facebook and Instagram with um, Spiritual and then hop over onto the Sequins and Sand Facebook page to um, vote in the poll of what you want, whether you want to see us stock some of those half slips and look out for the shorts. They are the bomb. They look great. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much. Bye. See you, Julia. Bye, Bye. girls. Bye.